Yep, tie game. Um, what's next game? Show. Oh no, it's Shogi. This is quite of an interesting game. Not many people know how to play it. So we're going to see if they skip it or not. Personally, if I were them, I would skip it because Shogi sucks. Mantala. But, yeah. I'll back in a second. Mantala. And I'm back. Sorry if you hear any background noise. I had to go up. My parents were talking, and I can't just ditch the and stuff. So, oh my gosh, it's man, uh, it's this game again. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, I'm gonna be walking around. So sorry if you hear any like noises. <laughs> This is a quite of a game that had, we. There's been like this for like a lot of the matches. Like I think this was two in the last match. Which is quite interesting. This might be popping up in a couple more matches. But yeah, uh, what you do in this game is that you try getting the marbles into the end spots. And if there's one marble that you put on, and there's, if you just put one marble in one spot, and there is, it's an empty spot, you can capture if there's marbles on the, of the opponent's side. That is the capture mechanic in this. But you can only capture once, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you guys make extra turns as you want, which is pretty nice. Capture. Yep. Oh, wow. That was a giant capture right there. CMDR kind of has a barely a chance here now because of that capture. Part of a interesting situation CMDR is in right now. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, man of. I still don't know how to pronounce this game. Malakala, I think that's how you kind of pronounce it. I know it's probably wrong. Game match, so that's only one. But keep in mind, Golder actually has to win all four of the rest if he wants to advance in the tournament. 
because of the way group stage works. Morphic only has to tie, well, he only has to tie this. If he wins it or ties this uh, match overall, um, he'll, he'll advance. But Golder's gonna need to win this by four to advance, just because of how well CMDR did in his matches. All right, so it's Mancala, the greatest game ever made. <laughs> it's actually really fun, and it's come up a lot in the tournament. And it's funny, we actually part of the reason why we changed the randomizer system is because Mancala like showed up way too often and we're getting suspicious. But now here we're seeing it even with an online randomizer, so I guess it's just meant to be played. I don't mind it though. Super exciting. It's like. It's always surprising that you, you move something and then you realize, like, you, you don't always see how, how, what pocket you choose is gonna, how it's gonna affect the next turn. So, we're watching from Golder's perspective here. If you, if you get a marble in your store, your big pocket at the end, you get an extra turn. Oh, so that was a really good turn by Golder, because he got, like, two extra turns, and then he captured. But the most important thing with this, I think, is that you don't want to be the person who finishes their... or who empties their pockets completely first, in most cases. Unless the game is really drawn out. Because if, if you're the first to empty all your pockets, your opponent gets uh, all of their stuff in their pockets instantly into their store. Which can be huge in some cases. Not always. Sometimes it's just good to capture a lot. And you don't even have to worry who finishes first. Hmm. So I think, uh... I'm not, I'm not sure what Golder's plan is here, but... Sometimes you can, like, set up ahead of time captures, but... Because Morphic's pieces are all right next to his store... Yeah, Morphic's gonna be forced to bring some over to Golder's side at this point. So which one is he gonna choose? He chose the 7. I guess... I'm not sure why I chose a 7. I'm not sure if there was a strat there. I guess so, maybe he could get a 1 in his front pocket or something. So he can get an extra turn. If you have a 1 in, your, in the pocket right next to the store, you can just bring it over to get an extra turn. Guaranteed every time. It's like the easiest setup. Right now though, it's looking really good for Golder. I mean, Morphic does have two big pockets, but Golder has a like a lot of empty pockets and then they're Capture. the ones that aren't empty are towards the opposite side of his store so you can kind of just like drag those slowly towards his store Capture. oh man and he captures morphic's one lone marble out there morphic again forced to bring one of his big pockets out so distributing basically all of that pocket's marbles to a uh, Golder side. This is looking really good for Golder. I'm not. I'm not even sure if Morphic can catch up at this point. Some excellent Mancala gameplay. Uh, and see, because if he chooses the one, he, he gets an extra turn. So no matter what, he had to move that eleven. Capture. Okay, he did get a good capture there though. On a three pocket, so that's definitely good. Um, we don't know how many pieces are in the goal and only pops up every, every now and then so Golder is 25 Morphic has one, two, three, like nine so yeah Morphic's gonna need okay now he has 11 so he's gonna need 14 and I don't think there's 14 marbles left I think Golder is already taken away yeah I only count 12 out I think it's already I think it's already over But we'll play it out again. Because once once the marbles are in the store, it's they don't come back out of it. It looks like it looks like yeah. Oh see, more Golder is gonna force Morphic to capture his one piece and end it, and then Golder gets all the rest. So this is actually not only a win for Golder, but a really good win. This was like what, 30 to something. 32 to 16. Wow, he doubled Morphic. Really good from Golder. Really good job.